All right, guys, I don't have much time today, maybe like two or three hours, but I decided to come back to where I found my reef buckle, and I've been hunting in this thick iron. There's iron all over this area right here. Used to be a bunch of 1830s houses here, and I just got a weird scratchy signal from the surface and decided to dig it and pulled out two nails from the plug, and then I see that laying there. I already picked it up and looked at it. It's a small uh, lead-filled brass bridle rosette and that's a really small one actually I thought it was a flat button at first because you can kind of see where the post was in the center but it's lead filled so it's not a button that's awesome that's probably mid 1800s it's a nice one too cool I've got a few other things today little small odds and ends but this is the first good find so hopefully we'll keep at it and maybe we'll get something good all right guys I just found another little uh, lead filled rosette right there in that hole and just took a few steps and I just got a really faint beautiful signal right down there in the bottom you can see it it's a two-piece button I already picked it up but you can see where it was sitting down in there and it's an eagle eye button which is the second off of this place but it's in pretty decent shape. It's got a little bit of a push in it, but other than that, it's nice. I'll get some uh, still shots of it before I clean it up, so I can do a before and after, but I always love finding eagles. They're getting slim these days, but I can sometimes get my coil over them. Cool. I'll keep going. This is, seems to be a little good area right here, so I'll see what else I can find. Alright guys, I just got a 95 signal on my dais, and right down in that plug popped out this. And it's a scabbard tip. You can see the little holes up here at the top. It's either a bayonet scabbard tip or a to a dirk knife or something. These little two holes at the top, though, are what punched into the leather. And they had a little screw, like a little, ti a little tiny rivet that went through there and attached it to the bottom of the leather. But this is most, being so short, it's like 95% probability that it's Confederate. And I, this is right where I found the wreath and the cast eye and all kinds of other Confederate stuff in here. So, that's awesome missing the little finial on the bottom it would have had a finial that came down but man that's sweet I dug that eagle button like right over there maybe 10 feet that way so this is a good little spot right here cool I'm happy with that fine that's cool I'll keep going and see what else I can get we're already having a great day but maybe we can get on a few more relics all right, guys, I'm out here. I just had to run back to the truck and get my camera. But I just found a three-ringer right over there a second ago. I've dug here before. And I just came over here. They had a log pile here, and they moved it. And I've been just dug under it and found a nice drop sharps bullet. It's weird looking. It's got that big uh, chop mark in it. I'm right in the middle of the town, so it's not plowed. But uh, that's cool. It's got a, it's weird. The base kind of bulges out, and the nose is flat. Maybe they hammered on it some. I don't know. That's cool. Let me get out that three ringer real quick. It's a nice uh, drop one. I think it's a 58 caliber. But uh, I found a few other things: a bale seal, and yeah, here it is: a sword belt rivet, and a few other things. But yeah, there's the nice three ringer. I dug it just right over there, and I've dug a few pieces of camp lead too, so this is definitely a good area. So, there's not too many signals, but there's enough that there could be something really good in here. Alright guys, I'm going to keep going. I don't have much time left, maybe an hour and a half, but I'll keep going and see what else I can get. I'm having a good day so far. Alright guys, I just dug a little... uh 32 caliber pistol bullet right out of this hole a nice civil war pistol bullet 
still had part of the casing on it. And I literally, you can see how far away that is, maybe six inches. Got another little deep signal and just popped it out. And I don't know if you can see that. It's an eagle button. It's got a nice stand up shank on the back. I can already see it's a general service. It's a nice shape though. See how perfect that shank is. It's been over just slightly, but I don't care about that. It's a nice button. That's sweet. We've hunted this place pretty hard with our AT Pros before, but these dais are really picking out the deep stuff. So that's awesome. Really happy with that. Sweet. I'll keep going around here. We have about an hour, maybe an hour, 15 minutes left. So we'll try and save as much as we can in that amount of time. So, all right. It's a cool find. All right, guys, I just came over here. Dug a bunch of camp light behind me. Just got a super deep little squeaky high tone. Just pulled it out and it's a knapsack or sword belt rivet. These came on the knapsacks. And they were they were just kind of a multi-purpose rivet. These real heavy ones are well, almost 100% of the time Civil War. But they were on uh, belts, knapsacks, rifle slings. Pretty much all of them. They needed a strong, bigger rivet to be able to handle the stress. But uh, that's cool. I've dug two of these today already, so it's sweet. I don't have much footage left, so I'm gonna. Have, the next few clips might be short. But uh, cool. All right, guys. I'm out here in the woods today. I've hunted this spot before. I hunted it with Britain. We came back here today because all this grass has died down. I just got a good signal right here. You can see it's a backpack hook. These are on a lot of things, but mainly on backpacks to adjust the shoulder strap. The larger ones are belt adjusters for sword belt, but these smaller ones are generally on backpacks. That's awesome. I love finding these. It's got a great, nice green patina on it too. It's a nice high tone on the dais. It's about maybe five inches deep, so it's a cool find. I'll get back with y'all if I find anything else. All right, guys, I'm still out here in these woods. It's pretty chilly today. It's about 40, but uh, I'm in here. You can see all these thorns and stuff. This grass is laid down since the last time I was in here. I just got a good signal right here, and right there is a nice Eagle General Service cuff got a push in the face with the shanks there. It's in pretty good shape. And I actually have another signal just right over there on my coil. So there should be some good stuff in here. I just got back to the site that I wanted to get to. But uh, that's cool. First button for the day. All right, I'm out here in the woods. The sun's going down already. But up there is where I was digging earlier. I'm just kind of down here. And, and here's a little piece of what's left of brick, a handmade brick in the hole. See that orange clay color? I just got down in the hole right here on a good signal and popped it out. It's an eagle eye coat button. And you can barely see the eye right there in the middle of the shield. Uh, it's kind of flattened. It's weird. It's pushed on the front probably stepped on or something and then the shank is folded over but it's right there huh that's cool we found some pretty good stuff today but we're going to keep going and dig as much as we can before the sun goes down so i'll get back if i find anything else all right guys i'm out here i just dug that eagle button earlier I'll come up this way Dug a pistol bullet and some other stuff, and nothing too exciting. But I just came through here and happened to look, found something on the ground, and it's a uh, buck skull. That's actually a pretty nice one too. Huh? That's pretty cool. Yeah, I'll probably keep it. All right.
I'm gonna keep going, see if we can find some uh, metal relics. Right, guys, you see a good signal here. It was a loud one. I almost didn't dig it because I thought it was trash. And uh, it's a uh, eagle eye vest button. I swear it was probably two inches deep. It'll focus. It's in pretty good shape. The shank's been over on the back, but it's there. And the button is in fairly nice condition. It's not pushed anywhere. So that's awesome. Glad I was able to save that. Sorry about the noise. I'm right by the road. But uh, it's a cool find. I'll keep going, see what else I can get. All right, guys, right there is where I just dug that eagle button. And just came over here and got a faint signal. And look at that, it's another button. This time it's not military, it's a 10 back civilian button. It's got a flower or something on there. But man, that's awesome. Looks to be in good shape too. Wow, the shank's almost straight up. Never seen a button like that. Cool. We're running out of daylight, so these may be quick clips, but I'll see what else I can find. All right, guys. I just dug that uh, flower button right there, and then I dug another epaulet piece right next to it. And I just came over here and got a trashy. I mean, 90% of relic hunters would have passed it up because, I mean, it was like half an inch deep. And look at that. It's a coat button. Oh man, it's a good shape one too. Looks like an eagle eye coat. That is awesome. Pretty good shape. The back is really nice on it. Wow, that's awesome. Look at that, that is cool. 150 years in the dirt. That's awesome, That's I've dug seven buttons today. I'm approaching beating my record. Man, that's sweet. All right, I'll keep going and see what else I can get. I'm doing really good today. All right guys, I just got down in this hole. This is top number eight. It's another eagle eye cuff button. I believe I've dug at least, at least three eagle eye buttons today. I'm very close to breaking my record. I think my record's 10 and this is number 8 so we still got a little bit of light and I'm going to try and break it. Alright guys, I'll keep going. Alright guys, I literally just came from right there right in the middle of the screen where that log is. So I just dug that cuff button. Just came over here and in the top of the plug. It's a button back. And that's number 9. Man, that's awesome. I'm tearing it up today. Wow. All right, I'm gonna keep going. Maybe I can break my record before dark. All right, guys. I just got number 10. It's an Eagle General Service coat button. It's got a crack across it. This one's in not that great a shape, but Still a nice coat button. You can see the crack right there across it. I'll have to fix that, but it's a nice general service button. Cool, it's a good find. That's number 10 for the day so far, so we're in the double digits now. My record is 10, so maybe we can get 11, finish it out. All right, guys, I don't even know if you can see me. It's pitch black out here. There's a light over there. I just dug number 13 on buttons today. It's a huge coat button. No, you can't even see anything. Sorry about that, guys. You'll just have to hear my, the audio. Looks like it's a, a... Man, it's a nice general service. 13 buttons today. Man, that is awesome. They've all pretty much been back to back to back, too. Man, that's sweet. Let's see if you can see the... Yeah, you can kind of see the silhouette of it against the sky. Nice eagle coat button. All right, guys, that's it for today. See what else I can get tomorrow. Maybe in a different video, might not be.
but anyway, stay tuned. All right, guys, I got a. <laughs> I've had a bad day. I, the spot that I was going to go to was the owners weren't home. And uh, so we drove around trying to find a different spot to hunt. And I uh, ended up at this old church. It dates about supposedly into the 1850s, but we think it's a little bit later than that. And I just got a signal and popped out a button. Look at the gold on that button. It's a navy navy button with lots of gold. I don't know if it's Civil War or not, but that is definitely an awesome find. I've never dug a navy button this old or that one that looks like that. This thing is huge though. Man, that's awesome. But we're going to keep going as long as we can. See if we can find another one of these. Mm -hmm. 